Hey guys, this is just a quick video on the pre-core uh, consoles. This is the P31 console, or also there's a P30 console. The older version, this is the newer version because it's, it's black um, on the sides here. It's P30, uh, P31, P32 as well, just variating buttons design as well. Just want to show you how to get into um, maintenance mode and settings on this. To get Ks and hours, you want to hit pause and then 65, and that'll get into the diagnostic mode, which will give you Ks and hours. The number two and number four here is your up and down arrow buttons. So you can just scroll through these. Here, you, if you want to go to your drummer, hit OK, and then that's the Ks. This one's done. The back button is actually number one for the incline. So you hit back, and you can go to hours, hit OK, and you got 546. Hit back. You can scroll through and get different settings on here. Uh, the treadmill maintenance mode. Maintenance mode is when you've got that um, blue flashing light on the front of the uh, treadmill to clear it. So this is set, the maintenance mode is basically a thousand miles. So this has basically done that 300 and, what's that, 333 kilometers of a thousand. So it means there's 667 miles left until the, the blue light at the front will go from solid red to flashing blue, meaning it needs to do a maintenance, uh, which is just a vacuum under the hood cover and check it out. To clear that, what I might do is just clear this for you here so it's clear. If you press and hold the start button and then it'll actually clear just wait for all the words to go off the screen and then it actually clears this setting as well um, if uh, so it's back to a thousand miles and then to get into some other settings if we hit the back button it'll go through for various um, software versions whatnot matrix boards serial numbers usage logs error logs, error logs in here, if you hit OK, I've already cleared it here so it won't show any, if it did have errors in here and it's consistently three or four or, or more times the same error and you come into a gym to fix it, it's best to clear the error message so then it, you can see if it comes up again with the same error message multiple times because it only stores the, f the last ten error messages. So if it is multiple of the same error message or an error message it can reset itself. So it doesn't really matter if the information is gone, then you would just, if it had 10 error messages here or 8 or 5, press and hold the start button until the words go away off the screen and then it will reset to having no error messages at all. Hit the back button there. Um, so that's that setting. And then, so all these settings will work. So if you've got the pause button and then you've got 65 or you've got pause, um, 5, 1, 7, 6, 5, 7, 6, 1 will give you the uh, technician's maintenance mode or pause 5, 6, 5, 1, 5, 6, 5 will give you the uh, club's mode or the user's settings which is just a few more basic settings um, on the console. So this is the newer one being the black one. I've got another treadmill here which has the, the basic version, the P30 uh, console. So with this one, it's pretty much the same except you've got your up and down arrows here so you don't have the speeds up and down the side of the console. So this one for basic settings you just do pause 6.5 and it will come up and then you can scroll through to what you like. Um, error log here, I've just got one, yeah it's got one error. So there's one error, hit OK again and then it shows you the error message, error 37. You can look this up online um, to find out what the error messages mean as well. You've got a back button here so rather than hitting the one for incline which we don't have the button here anyway uh, you can hit the back button and then you'll go back to the menu and then you can keep scrolling through you get your um, K's hit down okay you get your hours there as well and then keep scrolling through uh, for different settings that's that treadmill uh, maintenance mode and click onto that so that's got 511 miles left until the blue light at the front of the treadmill will start flashing so you can reset that if you like again you just press and hold the start button and it will reset that to a thousand miles which means you won't have the blue flashing light at the front if the f flashing light is anything other than other than the solid blue or flashing blue it means something's gone wrong so if it's slightly orangey yellow flashing color or orangey yellow on still it means that something's gone wrong with the treadmill some error messages can be reset by turning off the power to the treadmill and turning it back on again with those, um, like if the light's flashing orange or yellow, so you can just try that, just turn the power off and turn it back on again. 
Uh, so to go back, and then we'll scroll through here. And then the same other settings. If we hit the pause button, uh, again, we'll go back to the start. And that was the pause 6.5, but again, here it still works with a pause, uh, sorry, pause uh, 5, 1, 7, 6, 5, 7, 6, 1, sorry, 5, 1, 7, 6, 5, 7, 6, 1. It's a bit different when it's on a touch screen, it's hard to follow the keypad. So here, this is the technician's maintenance mode, and from here you can do various tests, the keyboard tests, uh, whatnot heart rate tests, um, all these other settings. You can go through display test. Display test just means you can hit on that, okay, and then you can see all the numbers and all the areas are working. Um, and then just keep hissing, hitting the okay button. You can see those three are on. All these are working, so you see none of these are out. All these are working, none of them out. None of the pixels are out. All these work and all the numbers add up. So that's just like the LED uh, console test you can do. Hit the back button, scroll through to other various settings. And again, on this, you'll have the same club settings as well. Um, if you want to go right back through, and you can hit the uh, pause, pause 565 which is just basically a shortened version of what you can do in the technician settings, setting modes in that 5176.5761. That'll give you everything you can change, whereas the um, 5651565 is just more of a, a few variations in the buttons you can press. Uh, you can't press in the club mode, but you can do it in the technician's mode. Uh, let me just see if I can... Um, I'll go back to that error message. Pause. Let's have a go. Pause. 5176.5761. Uh, if I go to that error message, I just want to show you how to clear the error messages just to make sure that's shown. Active status line. Uh, no, sorry, it's not in this. Five, six, five, 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 six, five. In here, so the five six five one five six five. Scroll through uh, units. You can change the units to k's and miles here. If you would hit OK here, and then you got metric, which is kilometres, and US, which will be miles. So just hit OK when it's the one you want. Uh, keep scrolling through. Oh no, sorry, it's 65. Sorry, so we go pause 65 and then we can scroll through to uh, error log here. Hit OK and you got the one error. Hit OK, it gives you the, the error number and then it will also give you at what kilometres that it had that error. That's just had that error just now because I actually uh, was in this treadmill and I pulled off all the wires. So it's come up with the, the volt error message, error 37. So that's okay, because that's where it's at right now. So this fault hasn't happened previously. So it's something that faulted because I unplugged the, the wires to clean the terminals. So with this, to clear it, if you just press and hold the start button or the quick start, it'll freeze and then it will scroll across the screen. Keep holding it until the numbers go off the screen and then it says no error. And that's how you clear um, error message. Thanks.